Hello, this is Victor. I'm doing the weekly. This this week I'm going a little bit late, and this time I want to share with you. I want to explain to you some tips um, that will help you to have first your brush in good conditions, and also will help you in the painting. So the first thing is when you're painting is find a po a, post a posture where you are comfortable, and you can uh, handle your miniature firmly and have control on, on the hands. So for example for me what is very comfortable is to have my hands, my this part, this part here of the hands, sorry, okay, resting on the table. In that way I have a lot of control and I have a, a lot of brush control. Other thing that I always have, I have their water to wash and clean water and paper to wash and to clean the, the brush to dry it. And you see I have a piece of carton because when I take paint I will take the excess of paint on this carton. Some people is using the on the skin and some using is using on the nail. I like to use it on, on a carton. So these are the things that you need to have around. If you use wet palette you will not need most likely the, the clean water but as I'm taking the paint and most of people is taking if you use Citadel um, brush, uh, you take it from the paint. If you use a palette, uh, you will put some paint on, on here and then you will take it uh, from there. No, but these are first is to find a good posture where you feel comfortable and you have more or less the basic things are rich. Another thing that is working very well, I work a lot some um, painting just handing the miniature from the base. Okay, but if you have a piece of cork and you use glue tag or double side adhesive tape, it's this is also very useful and give a lot of mobility and will help you a lot on having control. Now we will go for closer tips. So let me go zoom in. Okay, maybe it's too much. Let's put it like that. So the first thing is when you take the paint with your brush. Normally use only the first third of the brush. I, I try to use only this part maximum. Try to avoid the paint is going on the base. So, and the thing I will do is, for example, I will go with my brush and I will, I hope you can see this, and I will just take a little paint with the tip. I take the uh, axis out, and this is very important when you're painting uh, the tail, and then you apply the base color on the miniature. Okay? So as you can see, you take the axis out and you try to do a evenly layer on the miniature. So in that way you will you will have a lot of control and you will not have too much pain. Maybe sometimes will require more work, but I think it's the way to go. If you want uh, to have a good layers and if you want to have good control of the brush. This is one of the tips. I will do this later on not to make it too long. So remember, I take very little with the tip. If I have access of uh, excess of paint, I take this out and then I paint. Okay? And when you paint on top of black, don't be too concerned if the layer is not covering completely the black. Because not most of the colors will have issues to cover and you will need two or three layers. Another important thing to always uh, have your brush in quite good condition is clean it often. Clean the wash often on the water and then dry it in that direction always. Or doing like that. Sorry, I'm, I don't know if it was... So dry it, you can do like that, or just something like that. This will help you to have the tip in good condition. Another thing that I'm doing now is I keep my brushes with the plastic protection once uh, I'm done. And I think I need to change the color of the carton because it's reflecting too much. Okay, so these are some, some tips that I want to share with you. Then, another thing, if you want to have... This is not the best support for this miniature. If you, if, if you need... Um, have, having a good brush is 
very important if you want to do a nice paint. So always protect your brushes and keep it them good. I only do that. that is, you can also um, buy um, brush cleaners to con to keep your brush in better condition. I and then I have another brush that is my detail brush that I only use to do detail work. But here the important thing is the same. I moisture first my brush on clean water, and then I take just very little paint. I take the excess out. And in that way, I can do what I need. No, for example, I will do this just as a example. I can take very little, and you have a lot of control. And my two hands are resting on the table, so always it's important that you have your two hands resting on the table to keep the control and of the brush and avoid trembling. Okay, you can see I can do very easily what I need so this is a way to have control on your brush keep always your hands resting on the table and as you can see once I finalize I want to to talk the first thing I do is I clean the brush we want to avoid that the paint is drying on the tip because then you destroy your brush so you want to avoid that the paint can dry on the tip let me take this light out this. Okay, so you want to avoid that the, that the paint is lying on the tip. So these are just some tips that I want to share with you, some basic things, maybe you find it too basic, but I think it's important to remind this. So just use the tip of the brush, take the excess of paint out and paint with that. Okay, don't try to cover black in just one go, do multiple layers. And always clean your wash constantly, especially if it's hot, like it's snow in Belgium. It's, you, it's important that you clean your brush quite often uh, to avoid that the paint is drying on the, on the brush. So these are just some tips that I wanted to share. Sometimes these are overlooked and we go straight forward to how to paint, how to do different techniques. But we avoid to explain to people what is a good way to start painting. It's important that you have your two hands resting on the table, you take, you use just a small part of the brush, if avoid that the paint goes to the base of the bristles and always um, cl and clean your um, brush quite often, especially if you're doing the tail paint and you're only using a very small part of the tip of the brush. So that's all. I hope you find this interesting and useful and you and you can, uh, yeah, you find this interesting. Uh, that's all what I want to explain this week uh, and next week I will see, uh, I will do another, another, I will do more tutorials. So thanks a lot for watching and see you in later. Bye! Okay.